Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of to do application. And in this video, we are going to look at the API that we created in the previous video. So if you haven't watched the previous video, make sure to go and watch the part 2 of this series. So let's go ahead. When you open your local host at 8000 port, this is what we are going to see. And if we click on this, this is going to redirect us to the API slash to do url and as we can see over here we are getting a list of all the records that are already created so this is the one that i created in the previous video and at the bottom we can see like we can add another record so now you all saw list and create now what if you want to update any record for that you all can see this has an id so we have to go on the url and type in the id whichever you want and that opens the detailed view of that particular record so over here if we scroll down at the bottom we can see the already data is pre-filled for us and then if we say 2023 and put make a put request that means in order to update, we have to use the ID of that particular record. And what about delete? So for that also, we actually need the ID. And if you click on delete, it will ask prompt me for that. And if I click on delete over here, it will delete it. But I don't want to delete it right now. So let's go back. And if you ask me why this particular URL is being used. So if we have a look at our code in the previous video, we have specified that whenever we come, we directly include the to do URLs and in to do, we have directly API slash to do. And for that reason, we get uh, API slash to do over here. So that's it for this video. In the next one, we are going to do the configuration and installation of front end. See you in the next one.